Okay, this is Shane. I decided to just go ahead and redo the parts of the engine that I wanted to redo. Try to get this to where I got a decent amount of light. As you can see, the uh, valve mechanism is basically mounted flush to the plate. Had to modify a little bit of the rocker arm a little bit and shorten it up. As you can see, the other one it was out to about here and it was starting to interfere with this part of the valve. <coughs> the crankshaft, uh, the throw of the crank is a little bit different, as you can tell. It no longer is running ball bearings for the main crank bearings. It's just two basically uh, pillow blocks. And I'm using the center to hold a reservoir of oil. The cylinder is a little bit different arrangement now. Now it's got ports in it, basically like a two-stroke engine for the exhaust and the outlets right here. Now I still am using the bottom portion on here as an exhaust port, but for the most part it's blocked. Still got the ability to allow some air out of it, but not quite as much as an open port. This would be considered a hybrid uniflow style engine because I'm still allowing some of the uh, pressure to exhaust out of here instead of just out of the bottom ports. Which definitely allows it to uh, run a little bit easier at lower pressure. At higher pressure, you basically could just block it off and the thing would run pretty well. I like using the exhaust up at the top and on the ports because number one, I can't really adjust the timing perfectly on this as far as the admission of air pressure or steam pressure as the case could be. But for the most part it's the same configuration as the other engine was. Just slightly different. A few little variations. And I used all those extra washers there on the crank pin to try to help balance the engine out a little bit. Which it does, but not quite enough. The only reason why I don't put any more is, as you can see, it would risk hitting the cylinder if I put any more on there. So, I just leave it the way it is. Okay, let me unmount the camera from the tripod and I'll give you a close-up look at it. Now, as you can tell, the thing runs very quiet at low pressure. And at the exhaust port you can basically block it off and of course the other exhaust up here is going to allow the air to escape.
and this is almost nothing for pressure, maybe a couple of pounds. 